Hey, what is up, everyone? Uh, it is June 28th of 2020. Hope everyone's enjoying their afternoon. It is 1.50 p.m. here on the East Coast of Connecticut of the USA. Um, today I'm going to show you guys three different uh, power-off type shortcuts for the PlayStation Vita. I've been looking for one instead of uh, always holding down the power button on th on the top of the handheld. Um, I did some researching and I did some digging around and I found three of them and I figured I'd show you guys what they did and maybe you could decide which one you would like um, and stuff like that. Um, two of them are .vpk files and one of them is a .suprx file. With that file, you're going to have to um, enter in some type of uh, string code. Um, to actually make it work, but thank God there's an auto plugin two application, and that's where I downloaded um, one of the plugins called Quick Power Power Off Reboot and Suspend. Um, it's actually really neat, um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this video, and hopefully this can help you decide which version of one of the plugins you'd like to use, or you could always keep all three. If you'd like, it's totally up to you. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into it. The websites are already loaded. Uh, links will be down in the description. Um, so this will be the first one, the shutdown shortcut, which I prefer, which I like. But this one right here isn't bad as well. I just don't like the interface for it. But the third one I really do enjoy. So after that's downloaded. Go to your PlayStation Vita. As you tell, it's already booted up for me to make things go quicker. Now you want to go to find your Vita shell and enter the Vita shell application. It takes a few seconds. Once the Vita shell opens up, you hit the select button so you can see the FTP numbers. And after that, um, you want to hop back over to the laptop or desktop that you were working on. So. We're back at the PC right now. We're going to minimize the website, or the browser, I should say. My bad. I'm going to open up File Explorer, and we're going to unzip the one of the plugins, the shutdown shortcut, I believe. I'm just going to drag it over to the desktop. This makes things a lot easier anyway. And you can delete this now or later. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, load up the FTP client. Now you want to search for the UXO or UX0. Go down to your VPK folder. As you can tell, my VPKs are gone. I deleted them. After you install them, you don't need them anymore. So why even um, keep them on there? So after that's successful and dragged over, you want to go back over to your PlayStation Vita. Now you could just Exit that box, the dialog box, hit O. Now you want to go to your UXO folder. Scroll all the way down to VP VPK. Now you want to install one of uh, the packages right now. Just hit X once and then hit X again. Wait a couple seconds for that thing to stop installing. Install the second package. The nice thing is about this is that um, all three of these plugins don't affect each other, which is rad. As you can tell, I'm just deleting the VPKs because I have no use for them anymore since I re you know, installed them. I like to reboot, so reboot the whole system. It takes a few minutes. All right. Once we are rebooted, swipe left, I guess, or diagonal. Um, my auto menu, my uh, one menu popped up, and one of them's reboot, and the other one's just shut down. I like the uh, shut down one a lot better anyway. It looks nice, but let's start with the uh, third plugin that I told you guys about but you got to open up um, auto plugin too 
this one's this one's a really nice one. I actually do enjoy this um, a little bit better because um, you get to hold down the PlayStation button there. If you hold it long enough, it'll pop up. I'll show you. I think it's really neat. It's clean. It it just looks really nice to me. But I do enjoy that plug-in along with this the picture of the power button for shutdown. Once the system is rebooted, it goes back to my one menu. As you can tell, the two power buttons are there along with the reboot all in one. So let's take one at a time. As you can tell, I thought this was going to reset everything for some reason. I don't understand why because it says reset, reset data, database. It would have been just easier to say, I don't know, power off or shut down. So I was a little freaked out at first thinking, oh my god, I'm going to do something silly. But it actually, it just turns off the uh, PlayStation Vita. I should have known better since I'm looking for like a power button shortcut. But my dumbass uh, thought something totally different. Ah, unbelievable. So you can tell it shuts down. You have to restart the thing again. And I'll show you what the uh, reset does. It's just going to reset the, um, the friggin' uh, handheld anyway. But I figured I'd just show you guys. Because I'm sure I don't know if anybody cares or wonders what they do. You should have a general idea, you know. But that that's all right. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't like the interface or the picture-wise and stuff like that. It doesn't look, I don't know, it just doesn't appeal to me. And um, the guy who created this, this shutdown shortcut, he actually used a PlayStation Vita TV icon. But for some reason, it shows up red. I don't understand. So that shuts off the PlayStation Vita. Turn it back on. And I'll show you the last uh, plugin I installed for you guys. But that's the only problem with the shutdown shortcut that I have is that it does not look like the PlayStation Vita TV TV's icon. Now after now after uh, reloading the whole system again, what I'm going to do is going to back out of this one menu and I'm going to show you what the bubbles actually look like. See, I don't like that far right one. It looks silly and dumb to me but i do appreciate the coder now this is the um one that i do enjoy the quick power off menu plugin it just looks nice and it looks like it belongs there but you have you just have to hold down the playstation button for a few seconds and that um, mini screen will pop up so i do like that because it's clean it's nice it looks like it's actually it came from the factory. Like, you got it right out of the box. That's why I like that one a lot. So this is the shortcut and the holding down the PlayStation um, icon button. I'm actually really curious as to what you guys think of uh, these three, three plugins. Just curious as to which one you guys prefer or like better or um, is easy on the eyes, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. You can just leave your comments down in down below the links will be down below as well um i also uh want to say thank you for everyone who views this um i just noticed that i showed two um um i didn't hold down the power button because uh you could power off reboot and suspend all from one qu quick menu for both playstation vita and playstation tv um what you're supposed to do is hold down the power off button to reboot and as you could tell, I didn't do that. I just hit the power off twice. But, um, my bad. But that's it. These are three plugins. I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, I think I have a wobbly table because, um, the GoPro camera footage is off, like tilted. Even when I don't hold it, it's kind of weird. But, um, thank you guys. Please be kind. And, uh, hopefully I'll catch you around some other time. Thank you.